Hi there, John Peters. Uh, I was just finished watching a movie on YouTube about the life of David. And I saw the scene where Nathan the prophet confronts David about his sin with Bathsheba. And in the scene, it was just so wonderfully played. Uh, David gets down on his hands and knees before the Lord and cries out in sorrow and repentance for his sins. And I thought, wow, could you imagine if our leaders of today did that? If they got on their knees before the Lord and honestly repented of their sins and their shortcomings. How about if we did that? How about if we honestly got before God and repented of the places that we have fallen short? How would that change the whole political climate of the day? I mean, we have all, all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means every politician, every minister, every Christian, non-Christian, all have fallen and come short of the glory of God. Certainly a big part of Christianity is repentance. So as we move out of 2023 into the new year of 2024, let's take an inventory, an honest inventory of where we are with the Lord and where we've fallen short. Let's just get on our knees and say, God, forgive us. Help us to do better in 2024.